Namaste. My name is Karina Bogner and I am a teacher at Ibiza Retreats. And today I will guide you through a warrior flow to make you feel grounded and empowered. So begin by bringing your hands together in front of your chest and grounding your feet. So you also can bring your big toes slightly more together than the heels to have a slight inward rotation of the legs. And then just closing the eyes down softly, the shoulders relax, and the neck is nice and long. On the exhale, really ground down into your feet to feel the yoga mat underneath you. And then really softly open your eyes and lift your right knee up into your chest and then taking a big step out to the side in a 90 degree angle. So you're placing your front heel in line with the back arch. So bring your right foot a bit further back towards me, even more. Great. And then deeply bending into your left knee for warrior two. Extend your arms to the side and then inviting slightly up the pubic bone towards the navel to elongate the tailbone. Great, arms are nice and long and there is real power flowing through the arms as well into the fingertips. So we will start to take it into a little flow from here. So on your next inhale, extend your front leg and bring your palms together overhead. Good, palms together. And then exhale with the palms facing up, bend your left knee deep and open up. Great. Inhaling, lift the arms, extend your leg and exhale, going deeply into your left knee. Great. One more round. Inhaling and exhale, open into your warrior. Now on your inhale, slide your right hand back and lift your left arm up and over for reversed warrior. So we have an extension from the knee all the way up into the fingertips and taking the breath into the left side of the body. Now just take one more long deep breath and then with your next inhale coming all the way up and extend your left knee. Good. Now we're going to use a block and if you don't have a block at home you can also use your leg. I think Marianne can probably show both versions as well. So on your next inhale, slide your right hip back and extend your left arm forward, reaching out as far as you can and then drop the left hand onto the block or onto the leg. Both versions are absolutely fine. And then spinning the, hip, the chest open and extend your right arm up. So the palm is facing forward, the fingers are stretching up towards the sky. The back foot is anchoring really strongly and you can also press down into your left big toe to find real grounding through the front foot. And then taking two more deep breaths here. The neck is long and if it feels free and there is no pain or tension in the neck, you can also look up like Marion is doing. Great. One last breath. And then as if you're being pulled up by a string on your, on your right hand, inhale, coming all the way back up. And exhale, release your hands down. Great. Now just turn your right foot out to the side. So you're turning both feet away from each other, coming into a wide-legged stance. So this is where we start to activate the root chakra, the Mula Bandha. So on the exhale, dropping down in a straight line, bring your arms into a 90 degree angle and the thumb and index finger together into your mudra. Lovely. Now you can find a little bit of movement from left to right, really grounding strongly, feeling your pelvic floor working, the mula bandha working. Good, long deep breaths, really fierce, really powerful taking the energy from the ground, through the feet. Great. And then on your next inhale, rising all the way up. And exhale, reaching 
releasing your arms all the way down. Great. Now turn your right foot forward and your left foot into 90 degrees. So again, we want to have a nice alignment from heel to arch in the feet. And then bending into the right knee. So it bends in between the big toe and the little toe. And then extending your arms to the side. Great. So again, we make sure that we don't collapse into the lower back. So the pubic bone draws up to the navel while the tailbone lengthens. The heart stays lifted and open. And then there is a lot of energy flowing through the arms into both directions. So we reach into both ways. Now begin to flow with your next inhale. Extend your leg and reach your arms up. Bring the palms together. Great. And then exhale with palms facing up open and bend deeply. Inhale, palms together. And exhale, opening up. Great. One more round. Inhale. Exhale, sinking deeply. Now with your next inhale, drop your left hand back your leg and reach your right arm up and over to extend into the side body. So you draw the breath into the right side of the body, the right rib cage to really open. And with the exhale, maybe sinking just a little bit deeper into your front knee. Good. And then on your next inhale, wheel yourself all the way back up, extend your right leg. And I'm going to place the block to the outside of Marian's right foot. So begin to shift the left hip back and reach the right arm forward, 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 forward. And then dropping the right hand down onto the block or the leg. And then spinning your chest open. So exactly, you can take the hand underneath taking this movement with you to extend the left arm up. So you begin to draw the breath into your whole torso while pressing down into the right big toe and really strongly also grounding through your left foot. Good. Left fingers are reaching up. Just taking one more breath here. And then as if you're being pulled up by a string, on the inhale, reaching up through the left arms, coming all the way up and then releasing down. Well done. So you can take both feet in, but still turning the toes slightly away from each other. So just taking a bit of a wider stance, a little bit less wide than for the pose where we came down in between. Bring the hands together in front of your heart. Great. I think maybe bring the feet a bit more together. Yes. <laughs> I know you're very open hips. And then on the exhale, now slowly sinking the hips down in a straight line to come into an Asian squat. Now, this can look really different for everybody, depending on your um, opening of the, uh, how open your hips are. The important part is that we want to lift the heart. So you're bringing the elbows inside the knees and really reaching the heart forward into your palms. Now also the neck stays nice and long in line with the spine and then just allowing the tailbone to drop. And you can close your eyes and just releasing the back the breath, allowing everything to drop down into the earth and then slowly bring your seat down and you can extend your legs forward. Good. So we're going to end in a final Paschimottanasana, a seated forward bend. So you can bring your hands to the side of the hips. Your feet are flexed and just feel into this seat for a moment so that your spine is elongated, your core will start to work and then think of it as the heart being your leader. So we always think we need to bring the head as far forward as we can. Forget about the head and lead with the heart. So on the next inhale, Reach your arms all the way up towards the sky 
and then with the heart leading bring it all the way forward on the exhale and just holding on with your hands to wherever you can reach this may be the sides of the feet or the calves so from wherever that your elbows and your shoulders can still be soft and relaxed and then with every inhale the heart lifts and then on the exhale softening slowly forward inhaling extend and exhaling good couple more breaths you can softly again close your eyes or just softening the gaze last couple of breaths unwinding preparing the body for relaxation and then with your next inhale slowly slowly come all the way back up and from here you can have a final relaxation lying down in Shavasana or you can take another couple of minutes to meditate in a cross-legged position Namaste. Namaste.